Hey Leo, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Leo, uh, I do feel for a lot of you, first of all, you are absolutely taming your passion for this person out here. You could have, this person could have made you feel very, very insecure in this connection. Okay, this person could have kept you on hold for a very long time here. Even though you do have passion for this person out here, I feel you are all of a sudden after this waiting energy, right? You've reached a point where you are very, very confident. Okay. And uh, you are choosing to just move on. I feel you are being fiercely determined and focused on yourself. Okay. Making this bold and courageous move. Um and you're just choosing to give this person the cold shoulder, okay? It's like you want what you want and you're willing to go after it here. But you're facing things head on. So right now you're coming off as a point where you're being more individualistic rather than being at the couple with this person out here. You believe in yourself and you feel the, the, the right thing to do right now is just go do you. So there's a lot of self-care, self-love coming from your side here, okay? And you're doing your best to control yourself from this person. You're trying to tame the emotions, tame the passion, tame the attraction, that you have for this person out here, but in a very um, in a, in a very compassionate way, okay. But in a way where you don't want to make any impulsive moves towards this person. The person you're dealing with clearly wants a brand new beginning with you in love. Okay, there's a lot of attraction here, first of all. There's a lot of sexual attraction here. There's a lot of passion out here, okay. But this person out here, you're someone who takes action and makes things happen. But this person here, instead of taking action, they keep wanting new cycles with you. You get what I'm saying? So they want a brand new beginning with you in love, all right. But somewhere, somehow, I feel that they're trying to fight off their own feelings, okay. So a part of them wants a new beginning with you. A part of them is like, no, no, be logical. Let's j j just keep it where it is, okay. But they're trying to fight off that feeling of wanting something new with you or a new chapter with you. So Leo, I do feel that you're fed up of trying and wanting commitment with this person. You want commitment with this person. For a few of you, you, you could have been married to this person, still are married to this person out here, and you want this person, you know, you want to reach out, you want to invest into this person out here, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles here, you want a brand new beginning with them, you know, you definitely want to start something more committed with them out here, all right? Let's see, what does this person feel for Leo? What does this person feel for Leo? What does this person feel for Leo? See, this person keeps sabotaging the connection out here. That's the big problem out here. They would, they, 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 they feel that you have cut them out of their life. Okay. Now they don't know where they're standing in your life. They don't know where they are. They don't know if they want, if you want them. They have no idea if you will give them a second chance out here. But they, they, they are constantly thinking of the worst between you both and they keep sabotaging the connection. Okay, they keep sabotaging the connection on their own or they feel you sabotage the connection. But whatever it is, right, deep down, this person has no idea about what's going on between you both here. Probably because you are giving them the cold shoulder. Like I said, for a lot of you, you know, you're just like doing you. You know, you don't fear the outcome. You don't fear other people's opinions here. And out here, you are coming off as very, very strong, bold, beautiful, badass, okay? Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman out here. But you're just coming off as someone who's very, very independent, strong, and you're making your own decision here. So maybe they watch you doing you, okay? They watch you doing something good out here. For a lot of you, you could even be investing into a new connection that gives you more stability and security, okay? That's for a few of you here. But this person out here definitely feels that you've cut them out. You want nothing to do with them and you've just walked away from this connection because they feel that things are over and done between you both you know they feel that the relationship is over and there is nothing that can happen although they wouldn't want a new beginning with you they're just very disappointed yeah they think that you've cut it out with them okay and now even if this person wants to make a move towards you they fear rejection or they feel that they you, you will probably not take them back you'll ignore them or you will just reject them the way they kept rejecting whatever you wanted with them you know all this one see that's what's happening here this person the way you cut them off the way you cut them off for a lot of people you have blocked them and you just haven't unblocked them okay at all you know sometimes what happens we block someone then we unblock them we check their dp or then you know 
that is the picture, then we just try to put up a story or just try to get their attention. You're not doing any of that, Leo. You just stop chasing and you're attracting this person and they're seeing you so confident wherever they're watching you from. They're like, dude, how can this person be without me? How can they do so well without me? Okay, but it's like you're in that energy where you're just attracting, you're not chasing and you're giving this person a cold shoulder out here. Maybe a lot of you are just very focused on something new out here, you know, is what I'm getting. Eventually, in what you want and they want, both of y'all, four of wands on your side, ten of pentacles on their side. You both want the same thing. You both want the same thing. Okay. You're watching them. Okay. You're watching them from a distance. You want this person to communicate with you. Okay. Because you're giving them the silent treatment for sure. Leo, you are at a point where I'm not reaching out. Okay. That's a, like a that's a 150% sure deal. You're so sure about not reaching out to them. Even though you may want this with this person so bad, you're going to do whatever it takes, okay? Because you feel like, you know what? It's all right. It's okay. You may be mentally exhausted. You have hit rock bottom, okay? This connection is probably has come to an end, a painful ending out here. But it's like, I may want all this with this person out here, but at the same time, I'm not going to reach out because this person needs to take that action and they need to come towards me. This person out here, what they want from you is they want their happiness. With the nine of cups here, this person wants a wish fulfillment. You are the one who makes them very happy. No one compares to you. They want a happily ever after with you. But with the seven of wands here, again, they, they're very defensive. Again, I'm getting for a lot of you, this person could either be married to someone else. You could be married to someone else, which is making it a blockage out here. Or this person here, I think, is... You know, they want this with you. But you know what? Sometimes you want everything with, some, with someone, but it's almost like a fairy tale, you know. But when someone wants commitment or something more tangible, something uh, more secure or something which is out in the public, right? Wanting to make something out in the public, put a label to the connection. That's something that this person is being defensive about, okay? They, they probably don't want to commit is what I'm getting. They just don't want to commit. Not because it's you, but not because they just don't want to commit is what I'm getting here. Because even though they want it with you, right, they still come off as the nine of cups, which is telling me that this person here is, you know, they look at you as you're no wish come true. But again, they're not coming off as someone who wants the entire package with you. Okay. And they're sticking to their guns. See, you both have the ten of swords here. Ten of swords, ten of swords. Okay. Both of you all know that there has been something that ended out here. It's just that this person out here is not very keen on committing as of now. They're not ready to commit yet. Okay. You both want a rush in. You both have overinflated egos. Both of y'all want the same thing, but no one's reaching out. No one's reaching out. You're with the queen of wands there, being stubborn. This one with the seven of wands, you're even more stubborn, even more strong will. Like, no, I am not reaching out. That's what's happening here. Both of y'all are. There's a batch pass going on. Both of y'all are very, very stubborn. Although the attraction is so strong. Look at that queen and king out here. That's a true pair situation. The attraction is mutual. And this is not some shitty knight of wands energy where the attraction comes in and tomorrow it's gone. This is a very attraction that has been built over time okay so it's like an attraction which is like a long-term attraction out here okay so you guys are pretty serious about each other okay wanting you both want the same thing this person out here for some reason keeps sabotaging the connection and i feel probably it's because this person's married okay if, if they're not married if they're not committed out here then this person's just commitment phobic is what i'm getting here but both of y'all are dying to meet each other. You guys, you guys are just desperate, absolutely wanting each other and wanting a new beginning with each other. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Give it the best possible outcome, the weekly outcome for Leo and the person they're dealing with. The weekly outcome for Leo and the person they're dealing with. What is the weekly outcome for Leo and the person they're dealing with? Eight of Swords. Okay, so we have the same thing, right? This person's going to watch you from a distance. You're going to watch them from a distance here, but no one's talking, guys. Flat out ignoring each other. See, that's what I'm saying. It's like a budge fest going on. You don't want them. I mean, you don't want to contact them. They don't want to contact you. You both want the same thing. You guys are mirroring each other here. If this relationship needs to move forward, one of you needs to break the ice out here. One of you needs to break the ice out here. 
And if you're not going to do it, then there is no forward movement for the week. Okay. Because the energies are too strong from both sides. Okay. So there is no communication. It's just the same thing. Both of you are keep, keeping an eye on each other, stalking. And no one's making a decision. All right. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Hope this reading resonates and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.